I really like the Internet of Things. I've got my houses littered with them, but I won't buy anything that's not HomeKit compatible. And I've heard a lot of people talking about a company called Acara, and I found uh, Jennifer Bianna Gelman here at the Acara booth, and she's going to kind of do us a quick walkthrough of the uh, HomeKit compatible devices. And of course, they also work with Alexa and Google and do the IFTTT thing, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah, um, Acara, we create smart home solutions. We range from a diverse, we have a diverse range of products. We have smart locks, we have video doorbells, we have LED strips, um, we have thread based, we have a thread based line, we have camera hubs, um, we have pet feeders, and we have different sensors like FP2 radar sensors, water leak sensors, um, door and window sensors, everything your smart home needs. And a car is different because of the automations. You could create a plethora of automations, and because of our diverse range of products, you can really just, with a car, have it all. For example, our, our Camera Hub G3 and our G4 video doorbell, they use AI facial recognition. So if your daughter walks into the room and the G3 recognizes that, the LED strip will turn her whole room pink. <laughs> or with our FP2 presence sensor, um, if you walk into a room and the presence is detected, the lights turn on. When you leave, the lights turn off, which saves you so much energy and money on your energy bills. And I gotta tell you, my favorite automations are the ones I'm not telling it what to do. People mm -hmm. love to say, Alexa, turn on the, the, the lights. It's like, no, I want the lights to know when I want them to come on. I don't want to have to tell them when to come on. And that's, I don't have that kind of time. Yeah, and that's why the FP2 presence sensor is so revolutionary. And we actually have three new features for the FP2 presence sensor. Um, we have a fall detection. So if you mount it on the ceiling and you have a grandfather who falls, then it will alert you that your grandfather has fallen and the alert alarm system will turn on. The lights could flash red, there could be a sound on the G3 that yells, all of that type of stuff. How does, how does the sensor know that grandpa fell? It's a millimeter wave radar sensor. Um, it can easen, we also have a feature where it's sleep detection, so it can detect your heart rate, your sleep schedule, um, and there's people counting, so it can give you live, real data on how many people are in a room or not, and you can see it all on a screen. Wow, and you're, you're saying the name kind of quickly. Say the name of the sensor again. The Akara FP2 presence sensor. And is that visible here on the counter or is that something Not just in the background? here, it's right there. Okay, uh, it's okay. Our, it's our most popular sensor. I didn't know about that. Now, the other thing is that I think you your products don't cost a fortune either, is that right? We're actually like one of the most affordable brands. <laughs> That's actually how I heard about you first. Yeah. HomeKit and that. Well, this is very cool. You've, you've even got a, uh, a pet feeder. Yeah, let That's me show fun. you, let okay. me show you. All right. She just oh she just held her fingers in front of the baby camera, and we got M and M's kind of coming out of the the pet feeder. Just a fun silly automation. So you do the automation through the Acara software then? Yeah. Yes, you do that through the Acara Home app. Okay. And um, obviously, it works with HomeKit and Alexa and all the other platforms as well. I like the idea of doing the automation in your app though, because yes, to be honest, I'm a big fan of Apple HomeKit, but man, it's weird to work with the automation there. So having it in a car sounds really good. So how would people find these products? Uh, we are available on Amazon and we're available globally through distributors, um, but we are very easily accessible on Amazon. All right, and the name of the company is Akara. It's spelled A-Q-A-R-A. There is no U after the Q. Yes, A-Q-A-R-A. -A. All right, thank you very much, Jennifer. Did you want me to talk about the retrofit valve? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Talk about this. <laughs> One more thing. So she's got a, a, a water sensor, a leak sensor down here on the table. Yes, so with our water leak sensor, it's been out for a while. If you put it in a basement and there could be a flood detected and a drip, you know, just a water drip, then this will notify you that there could be a potential flood in your home. And this is a prototype, so this is not released yet. It's still a concept, but it's our retrofit valve. And if that little drip is detected, then your whole system will turn off and it could potentially save you from a flood. Wow, so this is a smart valve controller that's in line on the pipe and will actually mechanically shut it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so prototype, yeah. It, you were wondering whether there was interest in this product? Why, yes, yes, everybody is interested in this product would like to know. I know two people were who are off on vacations, had floods in their home and destroyed everything, destroyed the, the neighbors downstairs, that became their fault. Oh, it was just a big mess. So yeah, that's a great idea, do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's important to always know what's going on in your home. Absolutely, all right, thank you very much and we'll ch I'll check out Akara when we get home, thank you. Thank you.